some new developments this morning in what police called a high-speed drunk driving crash that killed an elderly Uber driver. You'll remember when police say that 82-year-old Uber driver Gerald Smith died when he was involved in that crash with the driver of a Lamborghini. It happened at Northeast 6th Avenue and Northeast 1st Street, and that's where CBS 12's Greg Angel is live this morning. Greg, the driver of that Lamborghini now says he's not to blame. Yeah, that's right. That is what he's saying in these new court filings all spelled out right in here. Now, let me again show you how this all unfolded. Police say that uh, Gerald Smith, an Uber driver, was here at this stop sign. And then witnesses say down here, R Roger Wittenburn's driving a Lamborghini and his now wife, they got married after the crash, she was in a Porsche and the two were driving, racing at a high rate of speed down 6th here when right here at this intersection that violent crash happened. Well, in this response to the wrongful death lawsuit that uh, Smith's wife has filed against Winton Burns, he says he's not to blame, but rather Smith is, saying he was negligent. Wynn Burns is also blaming the city of Delray Beach, Florida Department of Transportation. It also says that the construction company that put up the tarp around this fence is also to blame. Of course, this, mind you, is the civil case. Uh, police say while they do believe alcohol and speed was a factor, so far no charges have been filed. That investigation is still officially underway. We're reporting live this morning in Delray Beach, Greg Angel, CBS 12 News this morning.